hello, welcome, welcome to our video tutorial of You Can Draw in 30 Days. We're here live in Houston, Texas at Jerry's Artorama with my summer camp. Everybody wave, hello, hello. We got all, we got parents over here waving, and grandma and grandpa, many generations drawing with me. Hello, you guys over here. Hi, you guys ready to draw the rose lesson? Okay, we have mom over here, or Brittany, and we have mom's drawing here, and the boys. Hi, guys. Well, let's get going. We're going to draw... Uh, lesson nine from the You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Okay, very excited. This is number, what, number six in Amazon.com, best-selling drawing books on the planet. Yay, very exciting. So, we'll turn our book to lesson number nine, The Rose, and we're going to do the tutorial. So let's turn the first uh, lesson page, page 91, and if you would turn your books to hymn number 91, not one chuckle. I did a, did, okay, you did, a hymn number. Oh, it would help if I had my hearing aids and I could hear you chuckle. We're going to practice four shortened circles, and we're going to draw the bowl. We're going to practice the four shortened circle. We're going to apply it to a flag. And then we're going to take the flag and turn it the other way and make a flag flapping. Someone gasp. And then we're going to take the flapping flag, and we're going to show you how to make it into a rose. And then we're going to take the rose, and I'm going to show you how to make a, a bouquet, a bouquet. And we're going to do all that in an hour. So, you guys impressed? I'm impressed. All right, so let's go ahead and put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. Lesson nine, the rose. The much, much anticipated, promised lesson tutorial for lesson nine. Four squares. Where I like to use the page and make every every millimeter count. So let's start in the first square with a, with a warm-up drawing. Let me zoom in my camera here. And we're going to draw a couple of four shortened circles. Put two dots straight across from each other. And just practice with the four shortened circle. Sometimes when I start to draw, I'll draw ten of these just to get myself warmed up. Just to get myself ready to go. I'll practice and warm up and draw, draw a few of these. Okay? So I'll put... I'll put down. Let's do another one. I'm going to do another one over here. Now, in the book, I have six, but we'll just do two. Put two dots and draw another four shortened circle. Okay, give me a happy face online. Uh, I have my online live students. We have students from all over the world right now drawing with us from Russia and Paris and all over America and Canada. I'm going to draw a few of these. Just practice these four shortened circles. There's no, no right and wrong way. I mean, if you make it super skinny, it just means that you're really far on the side. Uh, what I usually don't do is I don't make it super wide open like that. That's more of a, if you're a bird coming down to a bowl and you're, you're seeing a more of a bird side. That's not for short enough. That's okay. It's not wrong. It's just I'm trying to get you to squish the shape. All right, so we have our, our practice for shorten, and we showed you a non for short circle. Now, let's take this now, and let's draw this really simple bowl. Put two dots far apart. Go ahead and practice that foreshortening. Now, foreshortening is the first word of the 12 Renaissance words. Now, remember, you can, on the side over there, there's that attachment list. And the 12 Renaissance words, who has their blue Renaissance word chart in your folder? Can one of you guys, look at all these hands. Look at, can one of you guys bring up your, or can get your chart and bring it up here, would you? I want to talk about this, the Renaissance word chart. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Thank you, Kate. Now, these words right here are 500 years old. You feel free to print these up. These are right there on the website. And we're going to use the first word for shortening. We're going to use a lot of these words today. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the bowl. And look at my book keeps on closing on me. So this is page 90 we're working on, okay? Page 90 of the You Can Draw in 30 Days book. So we're going to do a little simple cereal bowl. Now, to make it 3D, I'm going to put a shadow... Now, this shadow is coming down what I call direction south what? You guys online? Get, someone text me the answer. What is it? Or, or uh, will you hear? This is direction southwest coming down that direction, the shadow. Remember, our, our guidelines are four. Like the, earlier this hour, we drew this block of cheese, remember? Remember, the, these are the, the drawing directions that people use most when they're drawing, that artists use most. This is direction northeast. These are the four directions you're going to use a lot. This is northwest. 
even when you're drawing shadows, look at this is southwest. And this line right here, look at this is southeast. These are the four most commonly used positions. These lines, these directions. Look at the airplane. See, we did this earlier, about an hour ago. See this line right here? This right here is in direction southwest. This is in northeast. And look at the wings. See the wings right here? The wings are coming up in direction north west and they're coming down here in direction southeast. So if you, if you take out your airplane and put those directions, take out your mouse and put those directions, these four directions are what artists use to draw objects, to draw environments, and draw characters in the environment that are working with the objects. Even a little shadow on a bowl. So back here, back here, let's put uh, Put, I'm going to put a little pile of cereal back. You see this? I'm going to put a little pile of cereal. Can you put a little pile of cereal in there? And then I'm going to shade. Now, when you shade, you have to determine where is the light coming from, and you're going to shade opposite. It's really dark here, and it gets lighter as it comes across. Have parents, you all, thumbs up. How's my grandparents and parents doing? You guys with me? Thumbs up, thumbs up. This is usually the parent panic point right here. Usually the parent panic. You guys doing great? This is so great you're all drawing with. Now, you guys want to do a little extra. Look at this. We can draw these giant bowls. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to put this bowl behind this bowl. Look. Look at, look at, look at I turned in. Look at this. I'm going to put this. It's a little bit higher. Look. The little bowl's a little bit higher. See, what you kind of, you would see through it. See that? And then put a shadow in direction southwest. Look, we just added a little extra just to our drawing because we can. Why do we do that? Anybody know why? Why? Because we can, right? Because you're stretching your imagination. Look, and back here, why not? Let's do it again. Look. Let's just let's take a simple warm-up drawing and go crazy. Look. Look at this one's higher, see? You, you, this, one's, this one's so far away, you can see it back here. You can see the bottom here, see? If you have trouble figuring out how to draw, you have to block it in, see? And then you erase it. Let's, let's draw this one. Now, this one doesn't really fit, does it? You know what this one is? This one is Tony. Here's Tony. Tony's in the bowl. And Tony, back here, uh, this is, you've heard of Tony the Tiger. This is Tony the Artist. He's waving. And Tony, he's, uh, Tony, you know what Tony, Tony's yodeling. Tony's yodeling here. Yodle, yodle, yodle. And he has this little text balloon here. See, that's his text balloon. See what I did? Now, if it's not perfect for you, fix it. Make it perfect for yourself. I love crazy text balloons. And he's, he's, here's Tony. He's going, hi, Mom. See? See, we just turned it into a drawing. Isn't that great? So let's draw the bottom, put a shadow. So remember, we're, our goal here is to draw the rose. That's what we're going to build this up to. We're going to draw the rose bouquet, the bouquet of roses. So there's, there's, a, there's our bowls, and you can see how this could be. You could put stems, and you have a bouquet of roses, right? That cool? So let's shade these. Let's set the sun. Let's determine for this drawing, the sun's up here. The sun's up here coming down, so let's shade all the areas opposite. Shade down here. Shade down here. Guys, thumbs up, thumbs medium, thumbs down. How are you doing with your collection of bowls? Do I have everybody? Thumbs up. Happy face, sad face online. Or is my digital students? Kylie from Virginia gave me a happy face. And anybody, any more happy faces? You guys with me? Uh, we have Benjamin. Thank you for the happy face. Um, remember, if you guys, when you register, and from Canada, thanks for the happy face. Um, oh, New York. Thank you, Benjamin. Yeah, I like it if you put your state or your country initials after your name, just your first name. I don't need your last name, but I like to be able to see where you're from when you give me a happy face. So when you give me the, the all right, so I'll take your stompy. For those of you who are watching this tutorial because you have the book you can draw in 30 days, first of all, thank you for buying my book. I appreciate that. After 14 books, I, I have a bestseller. I'm so excited. It's, it's wonderful getting the world to draw. Um, 
But I also want to let you know that you can go to markkisslerlive.com, markkisslerlive.com, and you can uh, do these lessons with me live, like these the kids on uh, the parents and the kids online right now, and the parents, the grandparents, and the kids in class with me here live in Houston, Texas. It's good to have you guys here live with me. Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper, what's in your mind. A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some kangaroos. Have you enjoyed drawing today? Want to continue the fun? Head over to draw3d.com and join now.